Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And if you're very new, please consider pressing the subscribe bell button. You'll be updated or notified whenever a new video is published. Okay, so welcome to our Bisaya Word of the Week. This happens every Wednesday and Philippine time. I cannot promise you time because there are a lot of factors that will affect me in uploading my videos. But yeah, it happens every Wednesday. You may check it on this on Wednesday or early Thursday. Okay. Yep. Our lesson for today is conversation in hospital or maybe clinic. Um, actually, somebody who is, I believe, a, a foreign medical student requested a video a video tutorial about um, doctor and patient interaction I realized that I should really make that video um, because I've seen a lot of medical foreign medical students here in the Philippines and I wanted to help you guys and yeah his name is his or her name was Navani A3 D16 Hi, Mom Judy. I'm a foreign medical student studying in Davao. Can you make some topics about doctor-patient interaction in Cebuano? It will help many of us a lot. Okay. Thank you so much for commenting. So if you have anything in mind, any lesson that you want me to make a video, just leave it down in the comments below. I will just write it down in the um, pipe, in my pipeline, okay, in my list. And I will really make a video um, based on your request. Okay, let's go over. We have, um, we'll break it down into the registration, asking basic questions, um, checking patient's health status, test recommendation, admission of patients. Okay, so let's start with the registration. Okay, let's, for example, um, a patient went straight to the registration desk and he doesn't have anyone with him okay so you are going to talk to him directly for example okay so of course there there is a basic greeting good afternoon sir good good morning like that we usually use english um language when great when uh, we greet our customer okay so first one um after the greeting you will ask the patient Naka, naka register, naka dinhi sa una, sir or ma'am. We usually say, sir, ma'am, mom. It's like you're calling your mom. So it's if if somebody would say, sir, ma'am, uh, we will we will definitely smile because it, we we are not used to hearing ma'am. Okay, ma'am. We usually say here, mom. It's like you're calling your mom. So that's how we say sir uh, the ma the ma'am usually say mom okay so naka naka here i actually asked my friend raymond who is um going to publish a cebuano language book very soon i asked him how to explain the naka here because even if i am a native speaker i'm having a hard time explaining um, explaining some of the words because we are a native speaker we don't really give so much thought about it and we sometimes don't know the rules why we are why we construct the sentence like that but yeah I ask his help so that I can um, explain this properly to you guys the naka here is he said it is ability to do something or that the verb is still in the process it is like a gerund or the ing in English. Okay, I know some of you there. Some of you who are um, studying the Cebuano dialect, uh, let me know in the comments if you already asked this question from your mentor or from your teacher, and um, let me know in the comments what did they um, taught you about the naka. I really wanted to um, expound on this one. Okay. All right, so naka register, naka is in the process. It's like a gerund or ing in English. So na, na here is already. Ka is you. Dinhi, here. Sauna, 
sauna, not sauna, okay? Uh, this, uh, the spelling here is like sauna, but you pronounce this as sauna, sauna. Una here is actually, um, means first, okay? Sauna, we refer it before, okay? It's like, in English, naka-register na kadini sa una. In English, we say, have you registered here before? Okay, because we usually register first, and then before we, uh, before you can talk to any physician or a doctor, okay? For example, if the patient has, is together with somebody and the patient is sitting, he has to sit or maybe the, the patient is a baby who cannot talk yet. You can use this phrase. Um, of course, you're talking to the guardian, maybe the guardian or, who, or the, uh, the someone who is accompanying the, accompanying the patient. Okay? You can say, Naka-register na ang patient din he sa una. So instead of ka here, you just put ang patient here. It's like the patient. Okay, it means the patient. So, naka-register na ang patient din he sa una. Um, does the patient have uh, registered here before? Okay. Alright, let's go over to the next one. Number two. Oh, this is number two. Okay. Here. Next sentence. Palihug. Sulat sa imong pangalan dari sir, ma'am. Okay. Palihog sulat sa imong pangalan dari sir. Sometimes, okay. Okay, okay. Just too excited. Wait, wait. Palihog is please. Sulat, and sometimes we say suat. Suat means right. Imong is your here. Pangalan is name. Sometimes we say it pangan. Sometimes we say it like this because Sibano likes to shortcut words and you will hear it like this. Some of you will hear it pangan instead of pangalan. Okay? So, this is actually, so palihog sulat sa imong pangalan dari sir. It means in English, please write your name here. Maybe you are, you have a small uh, paper and you want the patient or the guardian to write the name on, on that small paper. So, you can say, palihog sulat sa imong pangalan dari sir. Or, you can say, palihog sulat sa pangalan sa pasyente. Okay? Okay, let's say, um, palihog Sulat sa pangan sa pasyente. Say like, let's say, okay. Palihog sulat sa imong pangan, there is a, you are directly talking to the patient. But what if you are talking to the guardian? So if you are talking to the guardian, you say, palihog sulat sa pangan sa pasyente diri sir or ma'am okay okay the sa here okay sa is actually a preposition that can mean to at in for and sometimes it is the or in depending on the context okay and sometimes there is no english translation just like the example here <coughs> So, there you go. Okay. Let's go over to the next one. Number three. Okay. Hulat sa kadali, ma'am. Sir. Aku a una kuhaon ang imong record. Hulat means wait. Sa, the sa here is actually, um, again, as I've mentioned, it is sometimes um, for, okay, for. 
hulat sa kadali is like wait for a moment. Okay, kadali is a brief moment. The root word here kadali is from dali means fast. Okay. Dali is fast. Kadali. Okay, you might be confused, okay? Hulat sa kadali. If you are asking the person to wait, kadali. The kadali is actually a brief moment. But if somebody is um if the somebody would say kadali or say kadali ra, kadali, that was fast. Okay? Or you say um kadali ra good, come here for a brief moment kadali. Okay? Okay, so hulat sa kadali Wait for a moment, a brief moment lang. Okay, ma'am, sir. Because in here, the second sentence, it says, Aku a, or you can say aku, Aku a, una, una, not una, una. It's like the, the intonation is going down. Una, first, kuhaon is get. Ang, the ang here is not the, but it is a subject pointer of the record here. Ang imong record. Your record. Okay? So, in English, the translation of this, Akua una kuhaon ang imong record. I will get your record first. Okay? So, I'll just have to um, finish this one. Huh? The kadali. The dali means fast. Dali, dali means if you hear, if you, if you hear a, somebody would say, dali, dali means faster okay faster dali dali or if if you hear this pag dali means move faster okay All right so if you have any questions or confusion let me know in the comments down below okay next still we are still in the registration part okay so linked sa ma'am or sir Lingkod is, uh, the meaning of that is sit or sit down, or to sit down, or to sit, okay? Lingkod sa is actually take a seat first, okay? Um, there's not much translation, um, individual translation to English, but lingkod sa is actually take a seat first, okay? So, okay, next sentence. Tawagun ra imong pangan. Okay? Sometimes we say tawagun, tawagun ra imong pangan. So, lingkod sa ma'am, tawagun ra imong pangan. So, basically, tawagun or tawagun means to call. Okay? Imong is your name. Pangan is name or pangalan. The ra here is actually doesn't have an equivalent English equivalent uh, translation. I still have to research on this one, but so far in this context, it doesn't have a translation, English English translation. So we will just call your name, okay? Tawagun ra imong pangalan. So basically, the ra here may be just in English, so I'm not so sure yet, okay? So tawagun ra imong pangalan. We will just call your name. Lingkod sa ma'am. Take a seat first. Um, palihog, fill up aning form. Palihog means please. Fill up. We, I think that is an English word, so I don't have to expound on that. Aning, ani, from the root word here. Ani, okay? Ani, this means this form. Palihog, fill up. Aning form. Okay, this form. Kinsa ang pasyente. Okay. Who is the patient? Okay, if there is a guardian and you don't know, okay, there is a patient and a guardian, you don't know which one is the patient. So you will ask, who is the patient? Kinsa ang pasyente? Kinsa ang pasyente? Okay. Who is the patient? Now, we're done with the registration part. Now, let's go to doctor-patient interaction. 
Josh. Okay, the first sentence. If you are going to ask the patient what happened to her or him, you say, Naunsa man ka sir or ma'am? Naunsa man ka sir or ma'am? So what happened to you sir or ma'am? Or you can say, Naunsa di ay ka sir? I mean, what really happened to you? Or you can combine, Naunsa man di ay ka sir or ma'am? So the man here is actually added to sound more sincere and you know to make your um, patient be comfortable with you okay next let's say for example you have the patient has cough colds fever or asthma so the doctor would definitely ask when it started okay kanus a man nagsu good imong for example you have cough ubo sip on for colds hila nat hila nat for fever hubak for asthma so these are very common um, sickness or illness that we encounter in the hospital okay so kanus a means when man here is actually again added to sound more sincere Nagsugod, started. Imong, means your. Ubu, cough, sipun, colds, hilanat, fever, hubak for asthma. Okay. Kanus ama nagsugod imong hubak, sir or ma'am? Okay. When, or kanus ama nagsugod imong ubu? When did you start coughing? Or when did you start getting fever? Okay. So kanus ama nagsugod imong hilanat? So that's how to ask when it started now next um, it's very common that uh, here in the Philippines very common to get your blood pressure okay let's go over to number three okay kuhaan tika og BP sir ma'am ha okay kuhaan tika og BP sir ha kuhaan tika og BP ma'am ha so that means you are informing the patient that you are going to get a blood pressure. So like, um, kuhaan, to get. Okay, kuhaan, to get something. Tika, um, the ka here means you. Tika, the te, the te here is actually pointing or referring to the speaker. It could be I or me, okay. The ug here is like, um, the meaning, the translation for the OK is like A or A or AN in English. Okay. I will still have to make a video uh, about this OG. Okay. That's gonna, that is still in the pipeline. Okay. Kuhaan tika, I'm going to, I will get something from you. Basically, from you or for you. Okay. Like this one, in this context, I'm going to get something... Uh, from you like I'm going to get your blood pressure. I'm going to get blood from you. Okay, sometimes kuhaan tika og, okay, kuhaan tika og would mean I will get um, I will get Something from From the pantry maybe I'll get kuhaan tika og biscuit from the pantry Okay, kuhaan tika biscuit sa pan sa pantry Like that Okay Let's go back. Kuhaan tika ugdugo, sir ha? So always put the ha here. It's like the man. Again, it's like the man. In order for you to sound more friendly and to make your patient be more comfortable uh, with you. Okay? And to ease the tension uh, the patient is going through. So you just put ha. Okay? Ha is like you are pacifying the person also. So kuhaan tika Okay, next sentence. Kuhaan tika og dugo, sir, ha? So, para sa CBC test, okay? You can stop here. Kuhaan tika og dugo, sir, ha? But uh, some would explain why you are getting blood from the patient. You say, para means for sa CBC test. The sa here is like the, okay? The, for the CBC test, okay? Alright. 
So, I'll just repeat that again. Kuhaan tika og dugo, sir, ha, para sa CBC test. Okay, I'll get something, or I'll get your blood for the CBC test. You're going to inform the patient that you are going to listen to his or her lungs. Okay, you will say, Pami, Pami naun nako, imong baga, sir, ha? Paminawon means to listen. Nako means I. Imong is your baga, lungs. Not baga, baga. It's going down. The intonation is going down. Baga. Sir, ha? Okay. I will listen to your lungs. Basically, I will listen to your lungs. Uh, this is also very common. Ginhawa uglaum or lalum. Okay, sometimes we use laum. Because, you know, again, Sibana likes to shortcut words. Instead of lalum, we say laum. Okay? Ginhawa is breath or breathe. Breathe in. Ginhawa ug lalum. Breathe in. Okay? Breathe, breathe out. Breathe out. You just say ginhawa. Sige ma'am, ginhawa. Okay? Okay, ginhawa ug lalum. <gasps> breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> ginhawa ma'am. Mana lang ka. Just like that, okay? So, ginhawa og lalum. Okay, the og here is actually a connecting word between a verb and an adjective here. So, it's a connecting word. So, as you can see, in English, you have to... There's no connecting word when you want... If you're going to say, breathe in and breathe out, okay? But in Visaya, you say, there is always this og if you're going to connect um, um, a verb to the adjective. Na amoy kaliwat hubakon. Na amoy kaliwat diabetes. This sentence is actually you want to know if the patient has a history, a family history of diabetes or family history of asthma. So na a na a means have. Moy means you are referring to the patient. Mo moy referring to the patient's family. Okay. Kaliwat. Kaliwat is the um, lineage, ancestor, or descendants. It's Kaliwat. Okay. Hubakun, asthmatic. Okay. For a person who has asthma, you say Hubakun. Ah, that guy is Hubakun. Or diabetes. Okay. So, you just use this phrase. Okay. Or sentence. Naamoy kaliwat Hubakun. Naamoy kaliwat sakit sa heart. Nami kaliwat na cancer? Does any of your family have asthma? So you just... If you are going to recommend a test, these are the common tests usually. X-ray, CBC, urinalysis, and ultrasound. If the patient has severe cough, maybe you are going to recommend an X-ray. Okay, you just say, Mag X-ray ta para macheck imong baga. Okay? Mag X-ray is... Um, these are in future tense, mag, mag x-ray, this is something to do, or about to do, ta, ta is actually um, a shortcut of kita, okay, but in this context, but in this context, um, we, the doctor is not, definitely not included in the test, but it's like, let's, you know, let's, have an x-ray so that we can see what's wrong with your lungs. It's, that's the uh, English English translation. Okay? Mag x-ray ta. Mag x-ray ta. Para ma-check. Ma-check. Imong baga. Baga is the lungs. Okay? Mag CBC ta. Para ma-check imong dugo. Okay, this you need to check the blood of the person or if you want to, maybe the person has dengue, uh, you really need to check the platelets, the count of the platelets, platelet counts, is that, is that it? Oh yeah, so you advise the patient to have a CBC, definitely if the patient has difficulty in urinating, you will urinalysis para ma-check imong ihi. Ihi is, is urine. Okay? To check the urine.
And then, mag-ultrasound ta para ma-check imong mattress. Mattress here is not the mattress bed, but it's actually the uterus. Okay? There. This is how to say if you are going to recommend a test to your patient. Okay, next. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Admission. If there is really a need for the patient to be admitted, then you will say like this to your patient or to the guardian. Kailangan i-admit ang pasyente, ma'am or sir. So this is if you are talking to the guardian. Okay? Kailangan means needed, need or needs. So in this case, needed is the translation for kailangan. I-admit. I-admit is to admit. Okay, needed to admit the patient. Ang is the pasyente is patient. So, kailangan i-admit ang pasyente, ma'am, sir. Again, if you are talking to the guardian. Okay? Next, this one, you are asking the patient directly. Magpa-admit ka, sir or ma'am? Some would say magpa-admit mo, sir or ma'am. Mo here is, you are also asking the guardian together with the patient. Okay. But if you're talking directly to the patient, ka, use ka. Magpa-admit ka, sir. Magpa-admit ka, sir. Magpa-admit ka, ma'am. Uh, let's say, for example, you are going to it's a, advise the patient that it's okay not to be admitted. But if, you, if the patient wants to take more rest, Definitely, you will advise um, the patient to maybe stay in the hospital so that you can really rest well because, you know, it's different to rest in the hospital and at home. Alright. So, magpa-admit ka, sir. Would you like to be admitted? Okay. Again, from the magpa here, it is in the future tense. Okay. The magpa is added before a verb. If there is a desire to do something, okay, I'll show it to you. For example, this one. Magpa x-ray ko. Okay, this is me. Magpa ultrasound ko. Magpa CBC ko. It's like, I will have myself get an x-ray. I will have to do ultrasound for myself. I will have to have my blood, I have to go for a CBC, okay, magpa CBC ko. So, this is something, something that you want to do for yourself, or for him, or her, okay? So, you ask magpa. Okay, last sentence for the admission part. E, this one, you are going to advise the guardian, uh, that the patient uh, is should be admitted, so you advise a guardian to go to the admission admission desk uh, for the admission papers. Okay, so like this. Add to sa admission desk, ma'am, para admission sa pasyente, or you can say para ma admit ang pasyente. Okay. Go to admission desk, ma'am or sir, for admission of the patient. Add to means go. Sa here is to the admission desk. Para, para is for the admission. Para ma-admit. Ma-admit is uh, ma. From here, ma is in future tense. Okay, admit ang pasyente. Alright, so that's all that I can share to you guys. If you have any questions, again, leave it down in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, feel free to comment. Comments is free. And subscribing is also free. Um, yep, if you have anything to add, please leave it down in the comments below. Please don't forget to visit, if you want to review more of this, visit my website, www.seedwano.com. One, one, that's plus what, that home, okay? Give me a like for this video if you, if you really like it. And, yep, I love comments, guys. I read all of them. And I respond as, lo as soon as I can, okay? I hope to see you again next time. 
next week, Wednesday, for another Bisaya Word of the Week. As always, thank you so much for all the support for my uh, subscribers who have been uh, watching this video, watching this series every Wednesday. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.